Hi everyone. Today I'm going to take you through the case study of Facebook. In this case study, I will describe how Facebook uses our data through data science. Before moving to this case study, I would request everyone to subscribe 5 minutes learning channel in YouTube in order to get my recent case study video updates on time. Also, this case study video is updated with English subtitles for your better understanding. So now let's move to the case study. Have you ever seen one of the videos on Facebook that shows a flashback of posts, likes or images like the ones you might see on your birthday or on the anniversary of becoming friends with someone? If you have seen such kind of videos, then you have seen an example of how Facebook uses data science. A report from a company called McKinsey states that by 2009, companies with more than 1000 employees already had more than 200 terabytes of data, which is of their customers' lives stored. Consider adding that startling amount of stored data to the rapid growth of data provided to social media platforms since then. There are trillions of tweets, billions of Facebook likes and other social media sites like Snapchat, Instagram are only adding to this social media data. Social media accelerates innovation, drives cost savings and strengthens brand through mass collaboration. Across every industry, companies are using social media platform to market and hype up their services and products along with monitoring what the audience is saying about their brand. An article from Excelcom states that what happens on the internet in a minute? In one minute time, there happens 700,000 logins on Facebook, around 530,000 photos are shared on Snapchat, around 350,000 tweets are tweeted on Twitter. 30,000 photos are shared on Instagram, 21 million messages on WhatsApp. This is by the year 2016. In 2012, Facebook has revealed that it is generating around 500 plus terabytes of data every day, in which 2.7 billion were likes and around 300 million photos per day. Another exciting thing is, Facebook is scanning around 105 terabytes of data per each hour. Apart from Google, Facebook is probably the only company that possesses the high level of detailed customer information. The more users who use Facebook, the more information they get. Heavily investing in its ability to collect, store and analyze data Facebook does not stop there. Apart from analyzing user data, Facebook has other ways of determining user behavior. They use tracking cookies. Facebook tracks its users across the web by using tracking cookies. If a user is logged into Facebook and simultaneously browses other websites, Facebook can track the sites they are visiting. Second, they use tag suggestions. Facebook suggests whom to tag in user photo through image processing and facial recognition. Finally, they analyze the likes. A recent study conducted showed that it is viable to predict data accurately on a range of personal attributes that are highly sensitive just by analyzing a user's Facebook likes. Work was conducted by researchers at Cambridge University and Microsoft Research shows how the patterns of Facebook likes can very accurately predict your sexual orientation, satisfaction with life, intelligence, emotional stability, religion, alcohol use and drug use, relationship status, age, gender, race and political views as well. At Facebook, the analytics team is made up of three different functions, including data science, data engineering, and product experience analytics teams. These three functions are the core analytics partners 
which is unique to Facebook. They bring teams together because each one has key strengths and specific roles that make their products better and more effective for their advertisers. The interplay between the three functions is more important and helps them to collaborate well with their cross-functional partners within Facebook. This also helps them to ensure that they prioritize and contribute to the most impactful initiatives. Together, the three teams within analytics at Facebook aim to create a culture of accountability that carries the product teams through all phases of development. As a result, they are able to help businesses around the world connect with the right customers in a meaningful way. Each team works to achieve the following. Data science team helps identify and quantify product opportunities to drive the roadmap and future directions of the team. It creates an understanding of the value of Facebook's products, set metrics and goals, and provides insights to help the team achieve success. Whereas the data engineering team owns the data for analysis and reporting for cross-functional teams and is responsible for having good, reliable and timely data to present. They work involves data modeling, building foundational data and aggregating data sets. Finally, the product in experience analytics team is responsible for using data to drive improvement to the ad product experience from the perspective of the advertiser, publisher and customer. The team provides actionable insights to help product teams understand where to invest to up-level the experience and ensures a high quality bar throughout the product development cycle. Facebook uses data science in the following three ways. First one is textual analysis. A large portion of data that is shared on Facebook is text. Facebook uses a tool which it has developed on its own called Deep Text. Facebook uses Deep Text to analyze the text data and extract the exact meaning from the contextual analysis. This is a semi-unsupervised learning. This tool won't need a dictionary or don't need to explain the meaning of every word. Instead, it focuses on how words are used. Second one is facial recognition. One of Facebook's latest investments has been in facial recognition and image processing capabilities. Facebook can track its users across the internet and other Facebook profiles with image data provided through user sharing. The tool used for this is DL application that is deep face which will learn itself by recognizing people's faces in photos. That's why we are getting the name of the friends while tagging them in a post. This is an advanced image recognition tool because it will recognize a person who is in two different photos which is even same or not. Third one is targeted advertising. Facebook uses data science to decide which advertisements to show to which users. Do you ever see sponsored ads on your feed while using Facebook? That's targeted advertising. And I know for sure this happens to you. If you don't believe us, just try searching the internet for something you have never searched for before. Then log into Facebook and look at the advertisement that pop up for you. Are they similar to what you have searched for? The answer probably would be yes. Facebook uses deep neural networks to decide how to target audience while advertising ads. This artificial intelligence can learn itself to find as much as can about the audience and cluster them to serve them ads in a most insightful way. Because of this serving the highly targeted advertising, Facebook has become the toughest competitor for the ever known search engine Google. 
Let us see few real-time examples that shows how Facebook uses its data science. First one is the flashback. On celebrating its 10th anniversary, Facebook offered its users to view and share their anniversary of being friends with people on Facebook by making a video of photos and posts shared by them. These were the photos and posts that received the most number of likes and comments on the feed. Second example would be Celebrate Pride. In order to celebrate Pride, Facebook introduced Rainbow Reaction, a way to support the Supreme Court's judgment for marriage equality. It provided an easy, simple way to transform profile pictures into rainbow-colored ones. Over 3 million people on Facebook updated their profile pictures to the logo of the Human Rights Campaign. Third example is I Oted Campaign. Facebook successfully tied the poten potential political activity to user engagement when they came out with a social experiment by creating a sticker allowing its user to declare I voted on their profiles. This experiment ran during the 2010 midterm elections and seemed useful. Users who noticed the button were likely to vote and be vocal about the behavior of voting once they saw their friends were participating in it. Out of total of 61 million users, then 20% of the users who saw their friends voting also clicked the sticker. The data science unit at Facebook has claimed that with the combination of their stickers that motivated close to 60,000 voters directly and the social contagion which promoted 280,000 connected users to vote for a total of 340,000 additional voters in the midterm elections. For the 2016 elections, Facebook expanded its involvement into the voting process with reminders and directions to users polling places. Final example is Topic Data. Topic Data is a Facebook technology that displays to marketers the responses of the audience about brands, events, activities, and subjects in a way that keeps their personal information private. Marketers use the information from Topic Data to selectively change the way they market on the platform as well as other channels. This data was previously available through third parties but was not as useful because the sample size was too small to be significant and the determination of demographic was almost impossible. With Topic Data, Facebook has grouped the data and stripped personal information for user activity to help marketers by offering insights on all the possible activities related to a specific topic. This gives marketers an actionable and comprehensive view of their audience for the first time. Now let's see what are the kinds of information of its users is collected by Facebook. First, things you do and the information you provide. Facebook collects and stores your content and the other information that you provide. For example, your personal details when you sign up, relatives, relationship status, phone numbers, likes and dislikes, etc. Second, things that others do and the information they provide to Facebook. Facebook collects information that other people such as your friends and family members provide about you. Like when they share a photo of you with you or send a message to you, they store those data. Third, your connection and networks on Facebook. Facebook collects information about the people and the groups you are connected to and how often do you interact with them, such as the people you communicate with the most or the group you like to share with. Fourth is financial information when you purchase on a Facebook. If you use Facebook for any kind of financial transactions, like when you buy something on Facebook, make a purchase in a game, it collects information about the purchase or transaction. 
This can be related to information about your credit card or debit card number, contact details, etc. Final one is information about how you access Facebook. It collects information about the computer, phones or other devices where you install or access its services such as device and location, the name of your mobile operator or ISP, browser type, mobile phone number, IP address, etc. This is all possible because of data science and machine learning. These technologies play a big role in contributing to the success of companies and helping them to provide unbelievable features to their users. Thank you everyone for watching this video. See you soon with another interesting case study. Meanwhile, if you're interested in more such case studies, please visit 5 Minutes Learning Channel in YouTube and subscribe.